Hey everyone, I'm Dan. Welcome back to my channel, Pretty ah, Average Astro. It's a very warm and muggy afternoon here in Toowoomba, Queensland. And if you've just subscribed to this channel or this is the first episode you're watching, you probably wouldn't have noticed that I've been away for a little bit. But as happens to everyone, I just had a few life events which just need me to take a break and focus my time and energy into those. But I'm slowly crawling back into this hobby and hoping to take a lot more pictures. Around this time last year, I took a photo of M42 Orion with my Evolux setup, and it's probably the most satisfying image I think I've taken yet. So what I thought I'd do with the 120ED is I'll take a more zoomed in shot and hopefully I get a bit more detail. So what I'll do for this is I'll take all my images and I'll do two separate images. So I'll do just a close up just with this rig and then I'll see if I've got the skills to combine that data with, with last year's. And I know PixInsight has had all these massive upgrades and stuff, so I'm a little bit scared to, to go back into that, but we'll see how it goes. But that's the plan for tonight. So see how we go. And for a quick rehash as well, I'll take you through this setup that I've got. So I've got my HEQ5, uh, belt modded mounts with the Skywatcher 120 ED refractor. I've got the Zewo 533 MC Pro color camera, Beta Moon and Sky Glow filter. I've got the ASI Air Mini controlling everything, the ASI 290 MC, and the SV Boney 30 millimeter guide scope with my dodgy toilet roll for a G heater. So we're a couple of days later now. It took me a little while to find my steps again and relearn a bit of PixInsight. I had to update all the software. I lost a couple of features. I had to figure out how to get back into the new version of PixInsight and just in general, figure out how to edit again. But I have finished it. I'm really, really stoked with it. I did tell a bit of a porcupine. I didn't end up combining the data with my old Orion data. This image I just thought was too good to combine with something else. So in the end, I had about three and a half hours worth of data, mostly two minute exposures, but I took 10 sets of five second and 10 second exposures to get that HDR look of Orion and not overblow the inner stars. And I think it came out really well. And this is the first time I hadn't used the L Ultimate for a while. So I used the Beta Sky Glow filter and I was really really happy with how that performed the colors look amazing i thought i was oversaturating everything at the start but it's just the amount of color that got out of that filter I just made everything really really easy so we'll cut now to the image and at the end i'll go over what my plan is for the next 12 months So for the next year or so, I'm going to be traveling a bit more. I'm going to be a lot more busy. And as much as I love the HEQ5, and it is lightweight enough for me, but it's probably not the most portable setup that you can have. So I'm looking to build a smaller travel rig, and I've been undecided whether I'm going to go the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI or look at one of the new harmonic mounts. And if money wasn't an option, I'll probably go straight for a harmonic mount so I could use 
a small setup as well as the larger 120ED that I used last night. But I'm not sure what I'll do yet in terms of the mount, but what I am sure is I am going to put my money where my mouth is. And with my previous videos with the Evo guide, trying to compare it to the Red Cat 51, I only really did a couple of imaging sessions. So what my plan is for the next 12 months or so is I'm going to build this into a full imaging rig and it's pretty much going to be my main scope and setup and I'm going to fo focus on wide field astrophotography and hopefully get some amazing images so I'll set this up as a as a guiding rig uh, I've seen uh, I think Sarazona do a 3d printed mount for this with the compatible with the uh, electronic uh, focuses and guide cameras and yeah so that's my plan I can't promise that I'll be releasing as many videos as I was last year but I plan to hopefully get a bit more consistent uh, soon and come out with some quality images and some quality videos regarding this kind of setup but yeah I think it'll be a really interesting setup and I'm excited to go down to a more simplistic setup that I can just pick up carry and go and there's nothing that's going to be too complex I'm not going to be interchanging different scopes and stuff I'm just pretty much going to have this little guy imaging and I think that's going to do wonders in terms of stress when it comes to astrophotography and creating videos and everything but that's my plan I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and thank you everyone who continued to subscribe in though I white ninja for a little bit but I really appreciate everyone that stuck around and still commenting on some of my previous videos. Really appreciate it and I'm really excited to get back. So see you soon.